Over the last week, members of the royal family have paid their respects to the ongoing Russia-Ukraine crisis. In a rare display of response to a sensitive issue from the royal family, both the Cambridges and the Sussexes made statements, while Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall put the issue at the heart of their work. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge publicly expressed their support to Ukraine, following President Putin's invasion of the country via social media. In addition, Prince Harry and Meghan issued a statement via their foundation Archwell showing solidarity with the Ukrainian people impacted by this humanitarian crisis. On Tuesday morning, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky thanked Prince William and Kate for standing by Ukraine's brave citizens at this crucial time. President Zelensky said, Oh Lena and I are grateful to the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge that at this crucial time, when Ukraine is courageously opposing Russia's invasion, they stand by our country and support our brave citizens. Good will triumph. However, Richard Eden, the Daily Mail's diary editor, pointed out how seemingly fans of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex had attacked the Ukrainian lead. Harry and Meghan had also sent their own words of support to Ukraine but were not mentioned by Mr. Zelensky, and it is not known whether he has privately thanked them. Mr. Eden said, This was something extraordinary. Here we have President Volodymyr Zelensky fighting to survive. His life is under threat and he was able to send a message to the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, thanking them for their support for the people of Ukraine. Ukraine. He starts then being abused by some of the more strident social media followers of Harry and Meghan, saying why haven't you thanked them? However, Mr. Eden's fellow panelist, author and historian Dr. Tessa Dunlop, wondered whether these accounts could have a more nefarious origin. Drive Dunlop speculated that the accounts could be Russian bots, tarnishing the Sussex's name. She said, we have to question, to what extent are those trolls and naysayers actually bots, controlled, incidentally, possibly by Russia. Meghan and Harry restated their support for Ukraine on television as they accepted the President's Award at the NAACP Image Awards. During their acceptance speech, Harry and Meghan paid tribute to Ukrainians and called for global support for the country. Harry said, Before I begin, we would like to acknowledge the people of Ukraine who urgently need our support as a global community. I think it's safe to say I come from a very different background to my incredible wife, yet our lives were brought together for a reason. We share a commitment to a life of service, a responsibility to confront injustice and a belief that the most overlooked are often the most important to listen to. Earlier this week, Charles and Camilla showed solidarity with the Eastern European nation following Russia's invasion by paying tribute to the extraordinary bravery and fortitude of the Ukrainian people in the face of such truly terrible aggression. The couple made a visit to the Ukrainian Catholic Cathedral in London where they were greeted by Bishop Kenneth Nowakowski, Ukraine's ambassador to the UK Vadim Pristyko, and his wife, Inna Pristyko. Camilla was said to be in tears for much of the time she spent speaking with representatives of the UK's Ukrainian community about the humanitarian crisis unfolding in their home country. William and Kate have also made a private donation to the Disasters Emergency Committee, DEC, Humanitarian Appeal, The Telegraph reports. The Queen also made a donation to the DEC fundraiser.